Hi, this is Munson with Munson Music, and we're going to talk about how you can play a song called Pirate Looks at 40 by Jimmy Buffett. And it's going to start on a G major chord. And the way you play G major, first finger is going to go to the A string on the second fret. Second finger is going to go low E on the third fret. And the third finger is going to go to the high E on the third fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds a G major chord, and it sounds really, really happy. And then on our verse, we're going to end up doing the G major four times. And then we go to a C major chord. And when you play C major, first finger is going to go to the B string on the first fret. Second finger is going to go to the D string on the second fret. Third finger on the A string on the third fret. And if you strum all the strings with that, that sounds a C major chord and it sounds really, really happy. And then from the C major, we're going to be going back to the G major chord. And then we're going to go to an A minor. And the way you play A minor, first finger is going to go B on the first fret, same place he is for C. Second finger is going to go on the D string on the second fret, same place he is for C. But then the third finger is going to go to the G string on the second fret. And if you strum all the strings with that, that sounds like A minor chord. It sounds very, very sad. And then from the A minor, we're going to be going to a D major. And the way you play D major, first finger is going to go to the G string second. Second finger is going to go to the high E or the skinny E on the second. And third finger is going to go to the B string on the third fret. And if you strum just the D, G, B, and E with that, so just the skinny four strings, that sounds the D major. It sounds really, really happy. And then from D major, we're going to go back to C major. And then we're going to be back on G major. And then we do another G major. So we kind of start out G major, G major, G major, G major, C major, C major, C major, G major, A minor, D major, C major, G major, G major. And our whole song is basically just repeating that one form. But a lot of times with a song like this, to make it more interesting, I like adding something called a strum pattern. And one of my favorite 4-4 four -four strum patterns is down, down, up, up, down, up. So we tried that a lot on the G just to get used to it. You have G down, down, up, up, down, up, G down, down, up. right hand used to it, but then if we try that through our, our, our progression, we got G down, down, up, up, down, 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 C down, down, up, up, down, C down, down, up, up, down, C down, down, up, up, down, G down, down, up, up, down, A minor down, down. half of our strum pattern on the D and the C chord. So we're just going to do a D with a down, down, up, and then a C with a down, down. So that can be a little weird. And actually in the recording it actually almost sounds like just a big down on each one. So there's actually a couple ways you could do this. You could do just D major with a down, C major with a down, although sometimes I kind of like halving it with the down, down, up. You could actually work and then you'd be back on the G major down up up down G major down down up up down up and we basically just be repeating that form so all the way through you got G down down up up down 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 C down down up up down C down down up up down C down down up up down form all the way through. So something else that, that I like to add sometimes with a chord progression like this to make it more interesting is on the first down you can kind of play a bass note um, for each chord and then do the down up, up, down up. So you can take the G for instance and do the low E string which is where the lowest G note is on the guitar and do the rest of the strum pattern after the bass note. So you can take G with the low E bass, down up, up, down G. string for the bass. So C with the A bass, down, up, up, down, C with the A bass, down, up, up, down, C with the A bass, down, up, up, down, up. And then when you get to your A minor, you'd be doing an A bass for the A minor.
keep your D's with the with kind of your the downs right, to kind of contrast. If you wanted to, you could take the D and do the bass down up a down. So on the D chord, you would have a bass on the D string. So one one other option on that part would be to do kind of a bass on the D, on the D and a down up and then a C with the A bass down. So you could do D with the D bass down, C with the A bass down, D with the D bass down, C with the A bass down, and then kind of going back to the G with the Louis bass down up. That through our, our progression, we have G with a low E bass down up, up down G low E bass down up, up down G low E bass down up, up down G low E bass down up, up down C with the A bass down up, up down C with the A bass down up, up down C with the A bass down up, up down G with low E bass down up, up down A minor with the A bass down up. song. There are a couple of other licks that you may want to try adding in. Um, and one of them actually works off of playing the G major chord, but with, with instead of one, two, and three finger-wise, you, you kind of switch to second finger, third finger, and fourth finger. So kind of using second finger on the A string second, third finger on the low E third, pinky on the high E on, on, on the third fret. And if you strum all those together, it's still a G major chord, it's just you're using different fingers. But that makes this lick a little bit easier to do, where you go low E string, and then D, G, B, and then G, B, D, G, G. So what I'm doing is an arpeggio, where instead of doing the whole down, I'm kind of breaking it up. So I'm going low E, D, G, B, G, D, G, with the G chord down. So I got three, O, 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 G, D, G, B, G, D, G, is kind of the notes I'm playing. And then from there, then, then you kind of start that over again. Low E, D, G, B, G, D. But then you go to the B string and play open and kind of do a hammer on the first fret. So I'm kind of playing open and getting my first finger to go down on the B string first fret to kind of get the sound to carry. So that could be a cool lick to kind of intro the tune is that. cool and you could even do, just add in that note with your strum pattern too you could do kind of a G down up up down up G down down up hammer on you know, kind of kind of adding that into the down down up up down up down down up up down up I think I'd do it right there kind of an interesting idea to play around with too. Um, when it does get to the solo though, the solo actually is just kind of going through the vocal melody and it starts open G and then second on the D and then open G twice, second fret on the G, open B. So you got O, two, O, O, two, O. And then we kind of almost do that again. Open G, second, open G, second fret on the G, open B. And then open G three times, and the second fret on the D, open G, second fret on the G, open G, second fret on the D, open G twice, fourth on the D, second fret, open D, and then open D, second fret, and then open the second fret, hammer on, and then O three, and what I like to do is kind of a three, five slide, three, or five, and then uh, second, and then open G. So you got O two O O two O O two O two O O O O two O two O two O O four two O O two open G hammer on two three five slide five open G. be kind of something cool to kind of add to and then at the very very end it, it kind of returns to that to that intro like where we're doing the arpeggio and then right after that there, there's another cool like you could kind of end the whole tune where you do more arpeggios so for instance you on that last a minor you could kind of play the a minor and then do the d and then the g and then the b 
and then in G, D, G, kind of like we were doing our arpeggio in the beginning, but now we're doing doing it around an A minor chord. So we got down, one, two, one, two, and then you can do a D major with a down and kind of do an arpeggio of that, and then the C major with kind of a, kind of a down, and then D string, G string, B string, and then kind of a big G major chord at the end. So you got A minor, D major, C major, and then a G major. So that might be kind of a cool way to kind of end the tune. But that's the basics of how you would play Pirate Looks at 40 by Jimmy Buffett. So good luck!